Now you might be wondering why I look like a dwarf who got interested in a very specific kind of science in a folklore video. And that's because you're all ignorant fools who can't understand the glory of my vision! So the actual reason is this. While I was researching other topics on Dukas, I noticed that on the front page they had an article entitled The Christmas Horn. Reading through it, I found this. Let's call it an experiment. A glass bottle has a small amount of water mixed with baking soda placed in it down at the bottom, obviously. Gravity, where else would it go? And then you place the bottle in a fire after it's been securely corked. And the bottom should fall out of the bottle. And then you can blow on the bottle like a horn, like a, a bugle. That was fascinating, so I decided I wanted to do it. But putting a glass bottle directly in the fireplace sounded dangerous. I thought maybe heating it up with a blowtorch instead would give me more control over the situation and thus make it safer. And that sounded good in theory, but in practice that actually felt far, far more dangerous than just putting the bottle in the fireplace. So I, I switched over fairly quickly. You know what? This actually feels less safe than doing it with the fireplace. Now, putting water in the bottle was obviously not a problem at all. But we did run into a slight issue with the baking soda. You see, here in my home, we mostly use baking soda for raking into the soil in the back garden to control where the nettles grow. So we usually just leave it out in the shed. Some damp got into it, and it was as solid as a rock. So I had to hammer the baking soda in order to be able to get an amount that I could actually put into the bottle. So while I had the blowtorch out, I decided I may as well use it to light the fire, because why not? I placed the bottle into the fireplace, as recommended. It took quite a bit longer than I was expecting for the bottom to fall out, and that description wasn't quite accurate. Uh, that description of what would happen, it wasn't quite what I expected. Rather than the bottom falling out, there was more of a minor explosion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I put that up. <laughs> I, I definitely made the right decision in moving in here. Um, <laughs> uh, that was not a clean break at all. Um, I'm gonna let this cool down. So it just says to blow on it. I've been trying for a while, um, but these kinds of instruments, they, they take practice. So, so let's see if I can get any kind of decent sound out of it. Red is in the background, blocking up her ears. Uh, 
anyway, you can see them getting something. It's the beginning of a sound, and I'll be able to do better if I practice it more. I had experience with it. If you if you took the time to work at it, you could get a decent sound out of it. Um, so that's really weird and really cool. So that's the Christmas horn. Uh, I, I'm going. I'm going to issue a challenge here. Any of my uh, subscribers who also make content around uh, folklore, mythology, that kind of thing. I want you to try doing one of these <laughs> and, and to tag me in the video because I think that would be a lot of fun. Um, but this is the Christmas horn. It wasn't quite an absolute failure. Um, I think with some practice I could make an actual sound. I, I was making a sound. I just wasn't getting a sustained note, which that's what I think I need the practice for. But, yeah, it, it actually kind of worked.